All right, guys, so now I wanna go over the next tip that I'm gonna give you, and that's boost your video engagement. So your engagement can be anything like shares, likes, comments, or you know potential subscribers. Um, so it, it, YouTube puts a lot more weight and gives a lot more weight to videos that have more engagement on them. So anything you can do to prompt engagement, like I said, and even dislikes, be honest, a dislike is better than nothing at all. Um, a dislike, YouTube actually sees that as engagement as well. So a little caveat there, most people don't know that. Um, you'll see here, two people dislike this video, um, the one that I was going over before with you, and that's actually a good thing, believe it or not. So dislikes, YouTube does not put any weight on those uh, they're simply you know adverse weight they're not negative they don't negatively impact your video in fact they actually positively impact your video so the way YouTube sees this is this got you know 48 uh, engagement signals potentially uh, you know because 46 people liked it and two people disliked it so dislikes can be just as good as likes uh, that's something to keep in mind but you want to boost your videos engagement it's important to understand that the more engagement your videos have overall you know whether that's likes comments dislikes shares whatever it is or people subscribing on that actual video because YouTube could you know takes that into consideration as well and you can actually go into your analytics and see who's subscribing to what videos. So, you know, see what videos people, you know, are, are subscribing more to and then make more content like that. It's something to keep in mind. But videos that, that have more engagement rank higher on YouTube's platform. Um, this has been shown time and time again. It's been proven. And so the more engagement you can prompt, even if you're not getting that many views, say you only get like 100 views on a video, but you get, you know, 30 to 40 likes or, or you know, 30 to 40 comments. That is going to go a long way to rank you higher in search results and rank you higher in suggested videos, which are both very, very important here in 2018 and going forward into th 2019. Uh, they're very, very important, uh, and and it will also gain you more, you know, traction because you'll get more views from that, you'll get more subscribers from that, you'll get more watch time from that, and more people coming into your content and more traffic. So get more engagement. I'm gonna go through an example of how I get more engagement and how you can use this as well. Um, but ways that I get more engagement are I put just to give you an example. I'm gonna play this really fast. Um, the way that I, I call for likes at the end of my videos. Um, so typically after I go through this intro, which I'm gonna show you in a second, uh, I. I I call for likes, uh, you know, go ahead and hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. I'm fully transparent. I let my subscribers and my viewers know what I'm looking for so that, you know, they don't have a problem. They don't have an issue going ahead and hit, hitting that like button because they know that it's genuinely going to help me. It's genuinely going to help the channel and they feel like they're giving back something. As long as you're giving them a little bit of value, they don't have no problem going ahead, most of them, and hitting that like button. But, button. I don't know what a button is. Um, or commenting down below if you call for that. So I usually call for comments. Toward the end of my video, I ask a question. I don't just say, hey, comment. I say, you know, well, what do you think about this? What, what are your tips? Do you have anything that I might have overlooked? Stuff like that that's, that's gonna challenge them to comment, not just, you know, kind of telling them to comment necessarily. So that's a good tip as well. Um, I call for likes. Uh, comments and shares toward the end of my video after I kind of go into all that. I also hear it here and there kind of throw them in the middle. But when I when I do ask for subscribers, I ask for that right in the beginning. So I don't wait till the end of the video. I don't wait for anything like that. That way I'm getting people to subscribe right away. So I'm gonna play you my intro uh, that I put on all my videos now. And some people might actually tell you not to have like long-winded intros. And I definitely agree with that to a, to a certain T. Uh, you don't wanna you know, have a long drawn out intro if it's not you know, converting well for you. But I've looked at my analytics and this seems to work and people not only subscribe, but they watch through this. It's only about 20, I believe 20 to 30 seconds long, which some people might tell you is a little bit longer. So if you wanna go ahead and make yours you know, 10 to 15 seconds or something like that, it's probably a little bit better. I keep mine because it converts subscribers and people to watch and that's why I keep it. But I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna put the mic up to it really fast and show you in a second and then I'm gonna stop it and talk about why this actually is a good thing. So here we go. What's going on guys, it's Brian from BG Media Innovation. And today I wanna to bring you some great content. If you're new to the channel, uh, it's full of digital marketing tips, e-commerce insights, and really step-by-step how-to content for any aspiring entrepreneur that wants to make money online. So if you're new to the channel, go and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And with that being said, we're just gonna jump right in. All right, so that was the intro. It was about 20 to 25 seconds long, and then it spins and then just jumps right into the content, uh, and then I get my message across. The reason that I do that 
is you'll hear in there, you know, I tell people what exactly you're gonna get from the channel, what value I provide, digital marketing tips, e-commerce insights, and that obviously goes across the board. I have a bunch of playlists that kind of show that on my channel homepage, which is something we'll talk about later on in this course that is gonna help you as well. So don't worry about that, just let that go over your head for now. But what I tell people is I, I tell them exactly the value that I'm gonna bring to them, and what, then after that, I, I call for the subscription. So it's a call to action, go ahead and, and basically say, you know, if, you, if you're into this, I kind of subtly say it, and then as well, call for the action. Um, I say, you know, basically if you're into this, go and hit, go ahead, excuse me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Basically telling them that, you know, I'm putting content out like this all the time. You're gonna wanna subscribe if you want to get, keep getting, you know, tips like this in your subscription feed. So that's something to keep in mind. You're gonna want to prompt engagement. Like I said, you don't have to do this exact, you know, formula. And this is something that I talk about in my other YouTube course as well, this formula that works. Um, but I definitely suggest that you call for subscribers, you, you ask for likes, you obviously ask you know people to comment thoughtfully obviously don't just be like comment because then you won't get as many comments challenge them to comment and ask them a question so that they want to comment and they you know they have a reason to do so more likely and then you know if you want to hear i don't necessarily do this all the time but if you want to you know prompt people to share your content that's also an engagement uh, signal that youtube picks up as well so just to recap you want to focus on getting more engagement because the more engagement your video gets the more it will send signals to youtube's algorithm that this video matters that the the audience that is seeing this video is basically responding well to it and it's a reason for YouTube to want to promote it more throughout the platform whether that's you know higher in SEO uh, in suggested search results on that type of you know those keywords and that topic or it's you know in suggested videos on the side regardless of what it is it's what it's crucial it's what you're going to want to do you know to get seen and have more visibility on your channel and your videos so that's the last the, the next one that i wanted to talk about you know boost your videos engagement whatever it takes and don't be afraid to ask for those things because a lot of people will actually do them if you just ask uh with that being said we're going to end this one and then we're going to jump right in and give you another tip uh in the next lecture